Imagine you're in Naples dodging cars while eating your pizza. Yep, that's me. I'm gonna show you my personal best pizza in Naples. What's that? Pizza. Why is this old crusty pizza laying on the ground? Pizzeria da Michele. This is an absolutely no-brainer. A local spot, not known by any tourists. Very easy to get in. This is a hidden gem from the movie Eat, Pray, Love. I don't recommend to come here because the line will cost you three hours of your vacation. It's too hot outside. Pizza is good because it's good, but the circumstances are not good at all. So, andiamo. Let's go next pizza. Pizzeria e trattoria al 22. My hungry alter ego called Vasilix, the one who ate 50 bananas in one day, forgot to film the pizza from this place called 22. It's a good pizza, like everywhere else actually. Nothing special. Looks like this, very beautiful in my opinion. As a matter of fact, the Italian pizza, Pizza Margarita, represents the green flower, um, not flowers. It's called uh, Colors, Colors <laughs> of Italy. There is basil for the green, mozzarella for the white, and tomato sauce for the red. Mm. Ah, you're wondering about the view? This is just Naples, don't worry. This is Maradona, by the way. He's like the king here in Naples and um, they adore him like he's the Pope. For a reason, I guess. Do you want to know when pizza was invented? It was uh, 1889. Yeah. Some guy called King Umberto wanted the pizza. You know for who? No. For Margarita. And so the pizza Margarita was invented. Even though they didn't know uh, what the pizza is. Amazing. Just amazing. Cheers to that. We found an alternative, it's like 300 meters from Da Michele and the pizza is even cheaper and the waiter is even nicer. Some Italians are kind of pretentious about their food, but they have a point because it's actually delicious. Nice. The pizza is very bowy. It's it's a good sign for a Neapolitan pizza probably. It's only three euros fifty. The time has come for my personal favorite pizzeria. On the last day I decided to go to Pizzeria Speranzella, where I had to dodge cars while eating my pizza. <laughs> this place was not good, but I was still hungry, so I went off to another pizza place and found...
Pizzeria Augusto. This place was like 50 meters from the place I had to dodge the cars. This was probably the best pizza I've ever eaten, as you can see in the following video by my facial expression. Hi, my name is Vitaly and this is my last pizza in Napoli. Buono. Well, subscribe, leave a comment and tag your crush. But wait, avoid these places. Pizzeria Speranzella. Unfortunately, I couldn't really relax. It was too busy because of all the cars. And also avoid the following pizzeria. Okay, now we're here at uh, Pizzeria uh, D'Atilio. I had the feeling that you should eat quickly and leave quickly. They brought poor starters, but the pizza was actually good. Nevertheless, the bill was brought to us even though we were still eating and we felt chased away. And I had the strange feeling that it was because of my shirt, because there was a hole in it. So I was uh, feeling treated quite belittingly. But, well. Here is a quick rant about the pizzeria situation in Naples generally. The thing that sucks the most is the queuing. Like every time you have to queue for, like to get inside of the pizzeria, I hate it because I, when I'm hungry I want to eat and then I become hangry and then they say wait two hours and then I smack them face. Just go and eat here. <laughs> Pelika. <laughs> Sag mal hallo Adam. Hallo Adam. <laughs>